Hello everybody, my name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girls to Rope. And we'll be doing a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading. I'm going to combine them two. So I'm going to put Divine Feminine on one side, Divine Masculine on the other. We're going to talk about each person, each relationship. Okay? Alright, so it's like a quick message. It ain't going to be a long video. I just wanted to get out something before I went and did some more readings. Personals, by the way, more personals. You have to call 702-969-5427. But don't call me. Message me. Text me. And um, I'll get to you. Get to you. Alright. I actually want to play some music. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I want to play a down. What is the mood most high for the energy for the divine for the divine mass? She lives in my lap by outcast. Okay, that's the energy. I'm not trying to get flagged for content, but that is the energy for it. Um, and that reminds me of the movie, um, I think it's, um, it says in there too. Uh, Idlewild, Idlewild. A woman, did someone lose their wife or girlfriend? Is someone dead? This is about a man that lost a woman and the loss is so significant, it's like she's dead. The morning. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine? Who put Divine Masculine on the right hand side? A lot of Divine Masculine. We'll take it to Pablo Picasso and Oscar Wilde. Like Bachelor and Jonathan Woods. Let's get Divine Feminine on each side. Let's put Divine Feminine on the left hand side. Plato, Jacqueline Onassis, and George Michael. My feminine, huh? Okay. And Laverne Cox at the bottom of that. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay, so for Divine Masculine, we got Oscar Wilde, which says, I can resist everything, I can resist everything except temptation. So someone cannot represent, someone cannot um, run from temptation. They love being tempted. Hearts are meant to be broken, so maybe someone's a heartbreaker. Or maybe he uh, has broken some hearts in his past, or he is, you're breaking his heart. Um, true friends stab you in the front, so maybe someone has had a lot of betrayals. Uh, that could be divine masculine. Make seduction your best art of work. Someone likes to seduce people and betray them. Um, begin all affairs with good intentions. So someone could be having some, um, someone could start relationships hoping for the best. And remember, it's not age of experience. Someone could be a little older, maybe. Yeah, dealing with an older man. Um, Jonathan Van Ness and a little bird. Beard pomade will take you to the next level. Someone's really into their looks. The soba is his best life, now it's got to go. Some of them be getting off their couch, they could have been very, you know, uh, apathetic, like they're not moving around, lethargic. Um, there's no such, um, there's no such thing as your beautiful face. Someone is very narcissistic in the mirror, I guess. And for Divine Feminine, we got a touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. So someone could be very poetic, uh, into literature. Maybe someone has used their experiences to express themselves. Um, love is simply the name for desire and the pursuit of a whole. So this is what divine feminine could be chasing behind love and the pursuit of what is love. And the madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessedness. Someone is really tempted to know what love is, the true definition for themselves, and they're willing to do whatever sacrifice they got to do for their own happiness. Always be the first lady. So someone is that bad, that bitch. Uh, Mary for love, for money, and companionship. Someone wants all three. And don't just take the picture, enter it. So it seems as if here that um, someone is just not a part of the picture. They are the picture. They're that bitch. They come into a room and own it. And they only want the highest that you can't give it to them. You know, we're wasting time. George Michael, always wake them up before you go. So maybe you're dreaming people. Um, no need to care, don't need, pay no need to careless whispers. It could be gossip going on about you, divine feminine. And family are your band members. So maybe you you just, 
Only fuck with family because so, so many friends are backstabbers. Damn. All right. Let's see. So you and Divine Masculine got something in common. Could be a soulmate twin flame thing. What is uh, Oscar Wilde, Pablo Picasso, and Jonathan Ness for Divine Masculine? Car you got is nine of cups. Someone is very emotionally disappointed, unfulfilled, they didn't get their wish. They're 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 materialistic or they, they are greedy, narcissistic, they only care about the money, they let the money jaded them, wishes jaded them, they have no no chase for life. It's kinda how I see it. What else song we got playing? Jill by Trey Songs. Hmm, interesting. I'ma skip. What's the next song most probably should play? I skipped the next song, it was Old Lang Syne. So some of you guys could have something going on around New Year's, or you could have been um, thinking about spending your New Year's or something. What else we got most time for the uh, collective for today? Trolls. Trolls, maybe. Y'all have a lot of haters. I said, by Vine Feminine got haters. I'ma play it too. I like this song. I know it's bad because he snitched, but it's a whole lot of snitches in the building. I know that applies to. What is the Plato, um, Jacqueline, Ken Oasis, and George Michael? What is that for the Divine Feminine? Nine of Swords. Someone could be coming to the root of an issue about an angry, aggressive, loser, toxic person or someone that's afraid to take life by the balls. Page of Pentacles can be about um, a new job. It can also be Empress can be someone emotionally burnt out. They work really hard. They could be a younger earth sign. Uh, maybe you come to a conclusion about something. What's Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands? Someone could be talking to somebody on the side. Nine of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles could be some money. Six of Swords. There's some complications to this money if it's about some money. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Maybe you have a hard time moving on from relationships. You could also be um, having a, a health scare, trying to move away from death, but death is really creeping up on you. This is what you hold on to. Maybe you have a bad diet. Maybe you get into the root of an issue that you're being reckless with your dating, your dating, your dating life, or it could be your eating life. Maybe you're starting to go vegan, raw vegetables. Maybe you don't feel like doing it. Maybe you feel like, I don't fucking want to do that shit in your dreams, bitch. Like, I'm not doing that. But you gotta eat like a queen, baby. All right, let's see. What's up with Divine Mask, then? What, what the fuck? What, what, what's Nine of Cups for? Why is why Nine of Cups? Man, it just cut me. Seven of Cups, he's confused, drunk. Nothing's working out for him. Seven of Pentacles, he may be in a job. He just started. He, he ain't getting no sales. Or his team sucks. He's having a very hard time. What's three of Pentacles is right? Someone could be feeling like they put a lot of time in, but nothing comes back to them. Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, they're protecting someone or they're expecting the worst. Ace of Swords could be an unfavorable contract or confusion or, or, or anger. Someone is upset about someone having options they have to compete against. Maybe they've been together with someone for so long and they don't want to compete. Nine of Wands and Page of Cups can be like someone is... They, they know it's gonna happen, or someone could protect them over themselves. What's the nine of wands? Someone is holding their fort now against these options. Yeah, someone is a, someone could have broke away their family with options. Someone could have broke out their family. So to the, someone could have left their family because of an argument, because of the options, or if someone has a lot of options and they chose one of the options, they got the fuck out. It was an argument because of that. I do see a third party card. What is the uh, page of cups? Someone could have broke up their family with a DM. Yep, this is about Will of Fortune, some type of breakup. Someone, yeah, the Emperor and Ten of Wands, someone knows exactly where they stand now. Yeah, some gossip been coming out about Divine Masculine. That's why he like, oh, damn, you my homie supposed to keep my secrets. No motherfucker, if you're doing some dirty shit, you're not supposed to. What goes around comes around. And befitting, don't take your love away by a line. Interesting. Somebody was praying, hoping, and wishing he did some shit. Alright, I'm trying to ask someone who had no play. <laughs> but for real though. Alright. Let's see. What is the general energy for a divine feminine divine masculine today? 
Seven of Pentacles, skepticism, non-confrontation. Who's doing that? Could be dealing with a Taurus. What's, who's doing the Seven of Pentacles? Confidence, I mess, who's doing that? Could be a Virgo or a Pisces or a Leo. Um, if you're dealing with a Leo, this person is being behind a lot of secrets or they could just not be uh, feeling, they feel very weak or they're not even trying to hold better. With, they ain't trying to deal with the secrets of their infidelity if they're being unfaithful. Though. If they, um, I see another pentacles here. Uh, some of them been fucking and not going to, the secrets is going to bury them. Now, if you're dealing with a Pisces, someone is hiding their emotions um, because of infidelity. This nine of pentacles, he has a sexual addiction that will come out. Uh, what's the nine of pentacles? Ten of wands, yeah. Someone is really struggling with something karmic. It could be in the family. Some others of you, uh, it could be imbalance. Some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are fighting this sexual addiction. You could be addicted to a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Someone could reject you, and maybe you have a, I don't know, somebody could have a sexual addiction. They try to talk to someone, they get rejected. Interesting. Uh, what's going on with Seven of Pentacles energy for a divine feminine, divine masculine? Queen of Pentacles. Someone is skeptical. So this woman is skeptical. Divine feminine is skeptical. Why is divine feminine skeptical? Nine of Wands. She's protecting herself. She could be intuitive. She's protecting a child. What's Nine of Wands? Well, she foresees things. This person could be a seer or psychic. The world. They could be very accomplished. Um, they could be seeing an ex. Someone could be seeing an ex. The world is kind of like an ending. Someone could be very protective over an ending or protective over a romantic conversation. Uh, maybe they don't want to speak to an ex or maybe they're uh, guarded by what an ex would say. Um, some of you guys are hanging on a decision that must be made to release someone, a relationship in which it didn't really benefit you with a Capricorn or a Pisces. Um, all right, so what's six of clubs reverse? Hermit. Yeah, someone could be trying to go back out to you from the past. And they, it's a burden because they're, they're at a loss. Maybe you don't want to date them anymore. The fool is like someone reckless. They choose to be reckless. They lose their fucking mind because you want to shed them. Yeah, someone wanted like a rebound and they're upset because they can't get that. They wanted a reconnection and they couldn't get it. What's going on for divine feminine and divine masculine? What's about tomorrow? Two of the swords. Ten. Ooh, what a fortune. Four of cups, the lovers. Justice and two of pentacles. Oh shit. You somebody's gonna rise above the haters, but they're gonna have a blessing. The will of fortune is some type of good luck out of some type of misery. The four of cups, maybe their relationship it didn't work out. Four of cups and the lovers. But they're going to get justice in business. It could be a divorce. Or maybe someone's uh, getting divorced. Or someone is getting a legal lawsuit. What is the what is the four of cups and the lovers? Someone could be in someone's ear telling them shit. That may be disappointed about a relationship. The queen of cups and the star. Someone doesn't want a new beginning. The queen of cups could be a cancer. Could be a Capricorn. This queen of cups is emotionally upset. Why is the queen of cups in birth? She could be um, doing cheating. Three of swords. Yeah, she left. The relationship's over. Could be a third party. What is the lovers and the um, star? A lot of majors here. Um, temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, this person, uh, they had a lot of fate, unfavorable things go against them, or there's some type of endless battle of wits. Um, there could have been a situation that started off good, ended up negative with the Sagittarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, be careful with the Sagittarius. They got a pop off mouth. Maybe you're approaching them with a love relationship that's third party or third party information having to do with a Libra. Be very careful. Uh, this Libra and this Sagittarius are opposing each other, but just as in favor of the of the Sagittarius, the way the cards are lined up here. Even this person is slightly imbalanced by some type of breakup. It seems that they're going to have their new beginning. Someone's going to rise above a situation of discontentment. Maybe they had some type of heartbreak. 
they could have had a lot of gossip spread about them, but they're going to have a new beginning. But there could be some type of contract that's not favorable to them. It could be, yeah, imbalance. What's the temperance reverse? Someone's looking for apologies, they're not going to get it. Someone's not going to see their behavior as a source of complications. The page of wands. Someone's afraid to take a new beginning, they're stuck. What is the ace of swords? I don't like that. Could be careful of new contracts. It could be lovers and friends or some sexual. Um, the world reverse. Yeah, going back and working on something you actually were done with. Some of you guys may not want to go back. What is the world reverse? Or tread carefully. What's the ace of swords in the world reverse? I don't like that. The king of wands. So much controlling. They're trying to, okay, you have a boss that's trying to get you to sign a contract. They're telling you all this beautiful shit, right? But it's really some bullshit. Don't sign it. Don't sign no contracts with nobody. Mm -mm. Or don't work for them, period. You know me, I don't sign contracts. I don't make it. I won't do it. Two of wands of judgment. Yeah, you're going to make a bad decision. It's going to delay you. So no contracts, period. Mercury retrograde. Period. No contracts. Until you, until you know what's going on, get you a lawyer. Anything else for a divine feminine, divine masculine? Okay, that's one over there. Seven wands in your ground, baby. Fight. You ain't got no force in you left, fight. Some of you guys be fighting over some money, some family money. You could be feeling burnt out, emotionally disappointed. But you guys are going to come out on top. Someone is emotionally unhappy. It could be a Leo or a, a fire sign, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Someone's going to give you some good news on how to fix your situation. But I don't know. Someone is unhappy. What's the, they're greedy. What's the nine of cups and the king of wands? Somebody's greedy as hell. Somebody could be wanting some money. Page of Cups, okay? So emotionally, dis sexually dis unhappy or emotionally unhappy about a love offer or talking to someone? The Ace of Swords, yeah, some type of fight. Someone could be having a fight with you, hold on. Four Swords. Someone, um, is co someone could be sick or someone could be uh, coming out of a situation in regards to having hard times. And now they're coming out of some type of reclusion or recovery. So there's the king of wands who's emotionally unhappy, sexually unhappy, or greedy. And he's um, delicately speaking to someone about dating them. Giving this person good news about a reconciliation. But maybe they're not sexually interested in you. And that's a devastation. Maybe you have to stay in your realm. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Feel free to get a personal reading on here today. Um, if you like this reading, cool. Like, share, and subscribe. If it did not resonate, feel free to book a personal reading and I will get with you later. Bye guys.